Do you think you may be pregnant or know you are, but you're not ready to be a mother? You may find yourself wondering what your options are. The decisions you're facing are stressful enough as it is. Our goal is to equip you with the facts about abortion so you can make an informed decision about your pregnancy. According to the CDC, a legal induced abortion is defined as an intervention performed by a licensed clinician that is intended to terminate an ongoing pregnancy. That said, there are several types of possible abortions. We'll simplify it here. The FDA approved the drug Mifepristone in 2000. This is a first trimester abortion, something that occurs within the first 10 weeks of gestation. The intent with this pill is to end a pregnancy in women who have experienced their last period in the last 10 weeks, or 70 days. One method of surgical abortion is called an aspiration abortion. This is another type of abortion that occurs in the first trimester. Normally, the patient will need to be dilated well before the procedure takes place. The abortion practitioner then uses either a plastic cannula or a handheld syringe to pull the baby out of the uterus. Early stage aspiration abortions are done between five to nine weeks, but can be done between 10 and 14 weeks if using a machine operated pump. Another method of surgical abortion is known as dilation and evacuation. This is the method used during the second trimester. It involves vacuum aspiration as well as utilizing forceps to remove the baby from the uterus. If it's been more than 13 weeks since your last menstrual period, a dilation and evacuation is most likely the type of abortion you'd be having. While this is typically an outpatient procedure, risks increase as your pregnancy progresses. We just mentioned the fact that risks increase as your pregnancy progresses. That brings up an important topic many women are looking for when seeking abortion information. What are the risks? According to the Mayo Clinic, women who have multiple surgical abortion procedures may also have more risk of trauma to the cervix. This can pose problems for future pregnancies. Studies have listed induced abortion as a breast cancer risk factor. One study concluded that abortion can pose a serious threat to the mother's life. There may be emotional side effects related to abortion, whether the abortion was planned or not. There may be increased risk of mental health problems following an abortion. It's important for you to gather accurate pregnancy and abortion information so you can make an informed decision. You hold the key insights as to what's going on in your life and what your future will look like. But people are here waiting to help. Do you need someone to talk to? Just pick up the phone or send an email to schedule an appointment at your convenience. You'll get a thoughtful, non-judgmental response on the other end. Please note, our office doesn't provide or perform abortions, but we're here to help you choose the best next steps for your life.